um, from the area value, you can just uh, have a, a look and you can see that there is uh, the row number four that has a very, very small area compared to the, to the other one. And this, uh, as we uh, already, some of you already see, have seen from the shape file, it was just a pixel that was a little bit messed up in the, polygon, uh, in the polygonites command of QGIS. So now we want to solve this problem. To solve this problem, uh, first we will look at it, so we can just zoom to the, cur to the current future, and we see that we are here. So it's just this small pixel here. Okay. So what we want to do is to put this pixel inside the ID uh, that uh, it belongs to, so to include in the in the in one of the two river basin uh, sub basins that are across to it. So uh, to do that. In order to do that, we have to do uh, one more step, and in particular, <coughs> we have to go. Uh, we have to use the slider tools, which is in uh, vector geoprocessing tools, and eliminate uh, slider polygons. So vector uh, geometry tools, and then. Uh, geometry tools and then eliminate so the processing tools and eliminate slider processing. So are you all here? Vector the processing tools eliminates slider poly. Slider polygon. You don't. You don't. Have, some of you has not this uh, tool. How many of you doesn't have these tools? But we could do it manually. Uh, probably not. Yes, if it is just one. But if they are more than one, they are not. Okay, so the, the problem is in the version of QGIS that you are using, and we already say that uh, we yesterday we provide a, a QGIS version to you. Uh, if you have installed it, uh, you can manage uh, to go to follow this, otherwise, just uh, install the version that we provided yesterday. <coughs> but in any case, this is the window that for uh, the other is going to be open. Uh, do you all have this window or not? It's similar, okay, perfect. <laughs> so what we want to do is to select the polygons, all the polygons in our ship file which are lower than a threshold uh, that we uh, select, we can choose, and then include it in uh, uh, the polygons that is uh, across, uh, very close, uh, or on the boundary of the, the one that we want to eliminate. So first, we select the Cavone sub-basins shape file. Uh, we want to do the selection according to the area uh, attributes. So we select area here. And then we don't want area equals to, but we want to select the polygon with area lower than a threshold, so less or equal. We can put one kilometer square. I think it's a good uh, sub-basin size. And finally, we will select uh, largest common boundary, which is uh, uh, the rule that QGIS will uh, use to make the merging of the polygons. So probably in the new version of QGIS, they, they change just the version, the name of the common, 
different tone. It's almost the same, but we have to select mirrors with larger common bounds. Okay. And but we don't have a joint selection attribute. Okay. Uh, this uh, this windows. Okay. So this is a uh, QJS 3.1. We were using 2.8.14. And the name of the output file? And the name of the output file, we will fix, we will uh, do the same, save to a file, and we will call it, and please follow this uh, uh, name, uh, cavone underscore subbasins uh, underscore s, which means, which stands for uh, sliver, and then we save it. Which folder? In the folder that we use to save all the output. It's a shape file too. Yeah. Okay. And then you should run OK. And uh, you, you, it will appear um, a new shape file in the panel which is uh, clean. But if you go in your folder where you save your uh, outputs, you have it there as well. So you can drag and drop. And if you drag and drop, now if we open the new created shape file, you can see that there is no anymore any uh, problem and any subbasing with very, very small area. Uh, yes? Uh, or, uh, or, 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 or